Hello everyone, my name is Alan Fershevsky, I'm Senior Backend Engineer from the Defend team at GitLab and today I would like to show you a small demo of the container host security feature, the integration with Falco. So this is just an MVC, the first step to, to achieve what we want to achieve for, for that feature. So basically we would like to present you uh, the ability to integrate with Falco easily through GitLab CI CD apps. Uh, what it will give us, it will give us a way to uh, monitor and detect potentially anomalous behavior so I can make sure that my containers are not compromised by, by any, anyone. Um, so in this short demo, I'd like to present you a few things. So let me start with the demo application that I'll be, uh, I'll be showing the, the project on. So the first thing will be will be the application. So we prepared a small application container host security demo that basically is a Go application, uh, Go web app that has few things, few potentially malicious things that you could find in uh, in usual web application. So someone can execute the uh, the code uh, on the on the container or or any anything else. Um, so this is what we'd like to present you. So this is already deployed. We we deployed it and it's available here. So it looks like I can, for example, ping a device. So I can easily go like gitlab.com and it will provide me a ping. Um, but I can also do some malicious thing here if I'll just escape the command to ping something and then provide my my command that I would like to run. Okay, so. And let's then go to the second application that I would like to present you. Um, and this is Container Host Security Cluster Management Project. And here I'm going to talk shortly about what we need to do here to enable Falco in your cluster. Uh, so I already have configured the Kubernetes uh, cluster and it's already enabled and available for, for the cluster management project. So here I have the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the most important thing here is that in advanced settings, you need to enable cluster management project and select the project that, that you'd like to manage your cluster uh, with, with the CICD application. So it's already there. Uh, so I can use that. Then I can show you in the documentation that what you need to do to install Falco. Um, so you need to specify in the, in the values YAML file and the config for managed apps that Falco has to be installed. And here you can also see that there are multiple additional options that you can have. For example, you can enable or disable eBPF uh, support uh, in if your cluster uh, nodes are supporting eBPF, then you can use them. If they're not supporting it, there are other ways to, to achieve what Falco can achieve. And you can specify your own custom rules. You can specify the program output. Uh, so whenever that is currently possible in Falco Helm chart, uh, so which is here. So if you'd like to, to see, you can go to Falco security charts and get the uh, the information, what you can specify in your Helm chart. You can do the same thing in our integration with Falco in GitLab as well. All right, so let's go and let's enable everything and let's deploy it. Uh, so I have the container host security cluster management project here, and let's go and edit a GitLab CI YAML file and then modify the, the managed apps files as well. Okay, so I'm going to web IDE. And here you can see that I already have a template which has uh, like managed cluster applications for, for GitLab. And uh, since this is included, I need to specify additional information for for that template to, to install proper applications. So let's go to the config YAML file of, of this. And you see here that I have Falco and the Falco is installed. I can set this to true. And then I can go to Falco uh, folder. And in Falco folder, I also have the values file that I can use. And here I can specify, for example, custom roles that would like to do something more uh, than what it's by default uh, available for Falco. So we have finally monitoring file. I can, for example, go to uh, to Cloud Native Security Hub and get things that are interesting for me. So for example, I'm interested in file integrity monitoring using Falco. So I can copy those roles. Well, let's let's copy this one, for example. And I can I can go here 
I can paste it and I'm good to go. I can comment this one. This will uh, trigger for me the new pipeline and and then we are we will be able to 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 have file integrity monitoring. But for demo purposes, I already did that, so we will not need to wait for it. Uh, so I already have the the pipeline that was finished. The applications were automatically deployed. The Falco was automatically deployed to the cluster. Um, so it's already there. Uh, so you can see that. Uh, in the logs for the for the pipeline job, we already have a Falco installed, uh, which is great. So I can now go and and start working on the real demo part, right? Okay, so we, we have that one. Uh, let's go to the console, and let's let's see what we can do here. I'll I'll just do kubectl uh, get pods just to show you that I already have deployed the application. Uh, for our demo, so Clean Oracle Security demo, and I can also show you that the Falco is installed here, so that's great. Okay, uh, now I can go and get uh, logs from Falco. Um, so I'm taking those logs by using the selector for an app, the app Falco. Uh, I would like to get all the logs that I have. And I'm using uh, JSON query just to be able to output things that are interesting for us right now. So, okay. All right. So now we can go and do something for this one. Let, let's start with a simple example. Uh, let's say someone has an access to your Kubernetes cluster and can do, for example, uh, like start a shell script uh, or, or run a shell. So I can do kubectl exec id and the name of, of my uh, of my pod that is here, and I can start a bash, right? And as soon as I, I did that, and in the in the Falco logs already received the information. Oh, someone tried to do something nasty in your uh, in your uh, cluster. So so that's the information you can take, and you can uh, you can have a program output. Or you can send email or send a Slack message with that. Some someone can already react. Let's let's do more more bad things here. Let's do apt uh, update. So as you can see, something is happening in the code. Like uh, the new file is created. Whenever something is going on within the apt uh, management, uh, that's reflected in Falco as well. So I'll just do apt install netcat. So I'll just install netcat here. So it's also reflected. Okay, we already have the netcat here. So I can, for example, specify, okay, I would like to start netcat and this uh, this will all be, will be reflected uh, in Falco that the network tool launched in the container. So, okay, that's the suspicious behavior. That's something that we'd like to avoid. Okay, but that's the example that you can have like just by having the using like bash script and so on. But you can also do bad things when you're not having access to Kubernetes console, but because your application is simply um, having some security issues and you'd like to be able to detect them and then address them quickly. So let's go to our already deployed application that we have here. Um, so for example, let's, let's do a very simple thing. I will just do test GitLab and I'll just create a new file in root uh, directory test GitLab. Okay, I'll submit this one, and as you can see, this was detected as well by uh, by Falco. This is happening because we already have a role that is detecting that something is happening, and you can see that's the command line that we we've used. Uh, so of course the application that we've written in Go was supposed to do a ping, but we escaped the the command execution and we did something additionally to it, right? So we have echo test GitLab root uh, test GitLab com, right? Um, what you can do next? Okay, I can do, uh, for example, I can get information about uh, etc past wd, and I can also do like echo uh, new line. Well, and 
this was also reflected here that someone tried to do that. Uh, there's plenty of more functionalities and uh, more behaviors that Falco can detect. And now we are happy to announce that you are able to uh, to install it easily using CI/CD apps in in GitLab. So thank you, thank you for everything. Uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.